Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, part one of a five part series that we have coming up on pond rebuilds. Um, this one's probably one of the simpler ones. Um, in this case, the, uh, the homeowner had this pond when they moved into the house. Uh, it started to have some issues over the years and they tried to start troubleshooting it and fixing it. Um, and so they ran into some issues that they're not able to resolve. The issues are a little bit over their head. And so they've called us to try to take a look and get them all fixed up. Uh, and so that's what we're here to do. We're here to help them out. Um, in this case, there's, there's um, like I said, this is kind of the starting level of pond rebuilds. Uh, in this case, the homeowner, based on their budget and, and desires here, they're wanting to stick with all the existing stone. Uh, they're wanting to stick with all the existing plumbing and pumps and skimmer and uh, biofalls system that they have. Um, and just piece it back together. Some of the fittings are not quite right and they've got extra parts here that they honestly don't remember what they go to. So we're gonna sort all that out, pull off all the excess material. We're gonna do a complete drain and flush and then we're gonna start restacking the stones around the perimeter and rebuild the waterfall, um, which is currently not built. Um, and here's the skimmer box and some of the other components around the pond. So what we're gonna do is use the rocks that they have dress it back up and just make it look nice, button it up. Um, so we'll spend a couple days here making this um, look good again, and, uh, and we'll connect back with you guys um, on the finished product. And then stay tuned for uh, four more builds that we have coming up, ranging from, this is our kind of the, the, the bare bones rebuild all the way up to full on rip out rebuilds with all new stones and materials.